What's going on everybody? Welcome to my first pass through the Kaggle Data Science Bowl 2017 challenge. So what my aim here is to do is just, just show you my first kind of pass through dealing with this data, seeing what the data is, trying a model and just seeing kind of what happens. So I think for a lot of people just jumping into a challenge uh, right out of the gate or any of these competitions can be really difficult because it's, it's just there's so much you have to digest in a really short amount of time. Also, a lot of times the data is so big and it's not pretty data. So a lot of times if you follow tutorials, even a lot of my tutorials, the people who make them try to keep the data sets as simple as possible so we don't spend a whole lot of time cleaning and processing and all that because that's not exciting. But when it comes time to actually do real world stuff, that's what you got to do. So anyway, so that's what this tutorial is going to be. Uh, focused on is just getting through the data. We will apply it. We're going to do a 3D convolutional neural network against this data and just, just see what happens. So this is my real first pass. It's going to be raw. There's going to be errors probably in the code and all that. Feel free to correct me. Feel free to improve anything you want, all that. My goal is that anybody can follow along. We're going to be covering a lot of concepts, a lot of topics here. I can't go into depth in all of them. We're going to be using pandas, matplotlib, opencv, tensorflow, and probably a few more that I'm forgetting. Uh, if you don't know those or you're not familiar with them or whatever, that's totally fine. You can ask for help. Also, I've got tutorial series on all of the things I just listed and per everything we're going to cover here. I'll have, I do have tutorials already out for all of those things. So if you're confused or whatever, you can check those out. You can go to pythonprogramming.net and just search for them or something. Um, also, as we, the, at least the first times we hit any of these libraries, I'll try to just bring it up one more time and, and tell you where, where you can find it, and more information on them. So there we have it. So now if you are not, or if you're new to Kaggle, um, you can go to kaggle.com, create an account, head to competitions, and the way that these work is pretty much the same across the board. Um, we're going to be working in Data Science Bowl 2017, but I'm just going to use uh, this one for an example because most of the challenges seem to be more like this. This The Data Science Bowl has one little wrinkle that's a little different. Um, actually, a couple. But So first, I'm just going to reference this one because this one's a little easier for me to illustrate to you how Kaggle typically works. So uh, you can click on the challenge and like these are the paid challenges right now, but they also have other competitions going on. They're pretty much always running a digit one, always running Titanic. It just it just keeps you know cycling through basically. Um, and so not all all of them are paid. The paid, the actual ones that have prizes, are just they're going to be more competitive. They're much more challenging to actually win. Okay. So, but sometimes they have other things going on. So, for example, um, I'll point out everything with the data science bowl. But first, let's just talk about how these are typically structured. So, you've got this Nature Conservancy Fisheries Monitoring Challenge. We come down here, and I'm not going to read the whole thing for you. But basically, the, the task here is to identify the fish that these um, these people in the boats are catching. That's the task. So. Um, cool, you can, we'll come to the data last, but you can go to kernels and you can see basically kernel, fancy word for script. This is just scripts that people have written. You can see what the language is. Um, I think they just have R in Python. I've never seen like Java or C or anything here, um, but I, I'm not positive on that, but it's primarily Python. So you can see that people have both scripts or IPython notebooks. Both of them are acceptable for, for being classified as a kernel. So, um, so yeah, there's that. And so you can check those out just for examples. Basically, what we're going to be covering here, what I'm going to be running you through, is going to be a kernel. So, um, so those are your kernels. Also, the discussion board. This has great information. You'll be doing yourself a huge disservice if you don't read the discussion board. There's a lot of really great things that people just, just openly share on the discussion board um, that will help you out. Then you've got the leaderboard. This is how you can see how people are doing in the competition. The competition is typically scored. We'll go to overview, then evaluation. Um, a lot of them are scored on a log loss format. So for example, this one has eight different classes of fish. Um, but like for the, the one that we're gonna be doing, it's it's working with cancer data. So it's basically this either this is cancerous or not. So that's a binary thing. But your your actual model is not necessarily just all wrong or all right. Models work in in, um, in like degrees, basically. It gives a percentage of 
you know, uh, what it thinks something is the case. It's not just, yes, this is, no, it's not. The only time we get that is when we apply an argmax function, right? And then it becomes that. But before that, right before we do the argmax to get the, the yes or no answer, uh, we actually have a percentile usually. So anyway, log loss. So the, the person who's most closely fit to the, act, the true scenario, um, that's generally the most fair way of going about it. There's problems, but um, that's, that's, that's the way that also the other... Uh, the actual data science bull is, is evaluated. Then go to prizes and just see. So in this case, first place is 50,000 all the way down to fifth place gets 10,000. And then you can see the timeline and all that. Okay, so we're gonna go and now we're gonna look at, oh, actually I wanna show one more thing. The most important thing, the data. So most of the competitions are shaped like this. You've got your, basically this is a sample submission. So um, we'll talk about that last. So actually we'll start with train. So the training data generally will consist of your data and the associated labels. So this is what you're going to feed through a supervised machine learning algorithm. In most cases, you're going to say, here's the data, this is the class. Here's the data, here's the class. Data, class, blah, 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 and you, you fit. And then you get to test. Test is just the data, no classes. So what you do is your model, you run through the test data, you, pr you, pr uh, you create the, or you predict the classes, and you predict them out to a CSV file that has usually like an ID prediction, ID prediction, ID prediction, and so on. And the sample submission is just an example just to kind of show you that this is what it should like when look like when you upload it. And then finally, when you are ready, when you've created this file, you submit your predictions, uh, and then you're immediately put to the leaderboard and you can see how you did. In general, you get like two or three submissions a day. So you can't do too many because you could just, you can actually make a model that fits the predictions um, so as you, you submit one prediction, okay, you, you change some things, you submit a second prediction, and if you keep doing that, you can actually just fit that and, and cheat. So, so that's a problem. So now, coming to competitions, uh, let's get talk about uh, the data science bull now. So this one's a little different. Um, there's a million dollars of prizes, and this one also just has different prizes. So basically you've got, you know, first place is 500,000 all the way down to 10th place. Uh, you also get 5,000 for the top three most highly voted kernels. Um, I'm going to be submitting this as a kernel, so if you found it useful, please do give me your vote. Um, there's also other kernels that you definitely will want to check out, just like kernels and discussions. Same thing I said before. Go to those and look through them. You're going to find really useful information in both of them that people just kind of share freely. Uh, and then also $10,000 in basically sharing the stuff. Basically, those are just... Uh, announced as time goes on. Right now it's a social media thing, so if you use their hashtags, you're just automatically entered. Okay, so that's that. Um, let's see, I'll get to the data last. You can read the description, just kind of understand what's going on, but basically we're looking at um, CT scans, CAT scans for uh, these low-dose CT scans to basically um, see if someone has a cancerous tumor or not. So basically, we're looking through this data that is, there's CT scans, but there's many of them. Uh, so basically, the CT scans actually stack on top of each other and actually create a 3D rendering of whatever we scanned, in this case, the chest cavity. So that's the data that we have, but we haven't quite yet seen it yet, so we'll, we'll get there. Um, again, the evaluation is a log loss. Um, you can go here for the resources. There's really only two resources there. There's the timeline. This one's a little different. There's two stages. So the first stage, uh, you'll have, you do have testing data that we don't quite yet have the answer to. And then we also finally will have, um, right, so you, you'll, you'll create your first submission on the data that we have right now. And then you've got uh, the test set will be released after the deadline and the answer to the validation set, which you have right now, are released, and then you'll have the test set. So you're basically, you've gotta compete in both stages to be eligible. But these two stages kind of um, make it probably even harder to, to cheat in, in the actual uh, leaderboard. Now, even if, you, even if you do cheat in the leaderboard, you would not win the competition because you do have to share how you did it. So, so you would be found out and you would lose your number one position anyways. Um, but it can be demoralizing to other people if if someone is just you know way ahead of everyone else, or if a bunch of people are cheating, it'll give you you know it's just demoralizing because you think you didn't win or whatever. So um, I think we're ready 
to Rumble. That's just my, you know, quick introduction to, to Kaggle. What I'm going to leave you off with is getting the data. There's a bunch of information here. Um, basically, you've got the actual data, which you need a password to open. This, the password's contained in this file. You need um, the sample images. You need stage one, the stage one labels, and uh, just this is a sample submission. So what I found to be best was to download the torrent because it just downloaded so much quicker, but you, it might not for you, but it is 67 gigabytes. It's a big file. So, and then by the time you extract everything, it's about 140 gigabytes. So um, that's a very long download. So that's gonna take a while. So <laughs> go ahead and get that started. If you don't have space for that data, um, that's also totally fine. I'm going to do my best to structure this in such a way that you can follow along. Um, just if you go to kernels and go new notebook right here, uh, you should be able to follow along with me through this entire tutorial. Your model is not going to be good because <laughs> you're going to be working with a really small data set if you do it this way, but you can still follow along. Uh, and still learn a bunch. So anyway, if you don't have space for it or you don't have a, a computer that's gonna be happy to process that much information, you can feel free to just follow through this notebook uh, here. You'll only have to change like two things basically as we, as we go through, well, more than two things, but like probably five things or something, not much. Okay, so that's what this series is gonna be all about. Get that data downloaded whenever you're ready. I'll see you in the next video.